Hello, this video is going to be about C++ programming. I wrote a game uh, a couple of years ago in Pascal and I converted it to C++. So there's the uh, development loading up there. Um, so uh, this game, Dungeon in C++, and there's my website where you can download the source code. This game is a text-based RPG which has a random dungeon, hit points, inventory, merchants, enemies, money. So if I go down here, um, it's... Um, talking about the functions and um, the libraries used so that's the gist of what's happening there um, these are the declarations what what they do is they link um, a, a way of referring to a piece of data to it to a piece of data so um, I mean you probably already know this stuff but uh, you know, sh short, for example, is a short integer, and string is um, a sequence of, of characters. So, um, it's there's now there's hit points. So that the hit points are set to zero. Then they go through this menu to do it easy or hard. All it does is change the amount of hit points they get anyway. So. Um, So that it calls up these um, uh, functions here, um, and they're down below, like make dungeon, for example, because the dungeon is random in this game. It's not recorded onto the disk. It just gets generated when they switch up, switch the game on. Um, and uh, another good thing about C++, I just want to mention, is um, portability, because to go from PC to Linux or Mac is really easy so that was another reason why I converted it but uh, that's that stuff there so you've seen that um, now draw map which is down here all that does is um, draws this little text-based map onto the screen using a for loop um, and there's a couple of ifs here so, so it sort of just marks their place on the map um, so in different rooms different things happen see, see each room has a number and if the room at the current location was three or whatever they would have a piece of treasure on the floor or whatever um, and uh, if the hit points get too low they die um, sorry about the disorganized way of I'm um, describing this I'm just going through it as the computer would go through it just top to bottom so um, and th there's there's an ending to the game which means that the the good thing about having a I mentioned this in the in the Pascal video as well. Um, the good thing about having a random game is if they do beat it, it's not going to be the same thing over and over again because um, each time it's a fresh map. Um, but if we go down here and start looking at some of these other functions. Um, like combat uh, for different numbers in different locations on the map uh, there's different monsters so snake, guard, skeleton with different hit amounts of hit points um, So this is just a bit of general code that sort of covers the, the 
the combat that occurs in the game. It's pretty simple. It's uh, very, very random though. Um, And uh, this get coordinates thing, because um, uh, I think it's a single dimensional array for whatever reason. Arrays in C are, are really easy. All you have to do is um, put a little square bracket thing after the variable identifier, whatever it's called. Um, and... Uh, What haven't I gone through yet? Yeah, the shop. It's it's um it's a bit funny actually. Um, it's not really a shop. It's just a prisoner that approaches them and tries to sell them things. It's it sort of just seems funny that they would be buying stuff in jail, but I suppose that happens in real jails anyway. Not that I've been. Um, people people buy and sell things. But they can get armor which stops them from getting hurt, a knife which deals more damage, and potion which restores health. And uh, once they, they purchase something from the vendor or whatever, he, um, he goes away because, I don't know, it's just a convenience for him to disappear at that point. Makes the code easier to write. Um, And uh, I think that's pretty much everything. Um, I got through this description pretty fast, but um, th there are ways out of the game. In in Windows, obviously, you've got the the red X in the upper right-hand corner of the window. But um, there's also you can use Q to get out of the game. So let's just uh, go back to the top here and. Oh, there's also this thing called normal. Yeah, this actually might explain a fair bit. I'll go looking for it. Um, where is it? Yeah, he's in a in a normal room where there's nothing interesting. They get this little menu thing, and they can go. Uh, they can get, do an inventory which shows which items they have and how much gold they've got, and north, south, east, west for m movement. Um, yeah, so let's compile it. Closed. Um, and it produces this exe file, I'm not sure how big it is, it's probably, yeah, 470 kilobytes, it's not a very efficient compiler. Um, so... We'll go for an an easy game here. I'll go south. South again. I'm having a bit of luck here. I've already got two gold pieces south. Didn't it say two? Alright, so where am I? Map. I'm in the middle, south again. Inventory, 4GP, south, inventory, yeah, um, east, east. So these little fights that are happening, they seem like some pretty hopeless enemies like snakes and um, guards and such, but the skeleton's the one you got to watch out for because he's got a few more hit points. Um, north, north, see they get blocked as well, so, skeleton, that was a pretty good fight, more gold, got a fair bit of gold, how much gold do I have, 10, Alright, I 
have been killed. Um, so let's just have a, another quick run of the game. Um, we'll go for a hard game this time. West. West. Map. Inventory. North. I'm almost dead, I, dead again. North. Oh. All right, I got killed, but anyway, you get the idea. Um, so, uh, thank you for watching.